<clears throat> hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I lost a decent amount of footage in this upcoming build here, but good thing it was just quick and sweet. Um, I'm going to try to give you the Cliff Notes version real quick of what you're about to watch, and then if you have any other questions, just put them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you on that. But as far as carving out uh, these photo carves, basically I use a software called Vetric. It has a program in there that allows you to do this. So once I get all that set up in the software, I put it on the CNC, I get going, um, I'll cut it out, and then once it's done, I'll put one to two coats of shellac on it just to seal everything up. Uh, and then I'll go with paint, and then I'll do a light coat first, and then I'll come back with a little heavier of a second coat just a, uh, a few minutes later once it has time to tack up and start drying. And then I'll wait 24 hours. Now, I don't know if you actually need to wait 24 hours, but I've had the best success with waiting the 24 hours or at least like overnight and letting it dry instead of trying to get it all done in the same day. When I tried to rush some stuff, even in the Texas heat, it still kind of got gunky and gooey and wasn't fully dried and didn't look as good. So I just plan to leave it for 24 hours or at least overnight and then I'll get back to it. Um, and then once I sand, I'll start sanding at 120 grit, that's all I use. And then there's no real scientific reason or way to sand. I just basically sand until I like what I see. You can sand too much, you'll start sanding away the lines, but as long as you watch it, sand it a little bit, and then put it, you know, 10 feet away from you, and you'll kind of get the overall picture of how it's looking, then you kind of have an idea of where to go sand some more if there's some darker spots or lighter spots to stay away from. And then once that's done, I'll put another coat or two of shellac. I just like shellac, it's nice and cheap if you want to make your own or just get the aerosol spray bottles. Um, I found that, you know, for something that's quick and easy out the door, shellac seems to be the best, not crazy drying times on that either. Um, but again, if you have any other questions on the process, just put them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Uh, enjoy!